all the batteries have two characteristics, voltage and amperage. If you multiply these two numbers, you will get the total amount of energy stored in the battery. Like let's say 24 volts or 20 amps equals 480 watt hour. Now this total amount of energy will be distributed gradually by the controller and you will get a range accordingly. So if you use a constant and continuously 120 watts per one trip, your battery will last 4 hours per one full charge. 480 divided by 120 equals 4 hours. But remember that using just 120 watts will not make you feel a big difference on roads. You gotta use 250 watts or more in order to pedal easy and feel comfortable on your ride. As I showed in a previous video, e-bikes have different level of pedal assist like echo, low, medium and high. And behind these words, the controller will take different amount of watt hour from the battery to assist you. Now that I made these points clear, let's take a look to the voltage aspect. We find in general three main types of voltage on an e-bike, 24, 36 and 48 volts, which in real life will reflect on how powerful your e-bike will be. So an e-bike setup with 48 volts configuration will accelerate faster and climb hills easier compared to a 24 or 36 volts configuration. If I give amps to these three batteries, let's say 20, 15 and 10, the bike setup with 48 volts will still accelerate faster than the other two, even though it has less amps. Now, if you notice, these two batteries have the same amount of watt hour, which means that in theory, you will be able to travel the same distance with both batteries. But yet, the difference is that with 48 volt, you will travel faster and the battery will discharge quicker compared to a 24 volts, which is built for slow rides, therefore lasting longer due to its 20 amps capacity. At the end, I made an illustration to help you answer the question, how long does an e-bike battery last? Imagine that the battery is a bottle with water turned upside down and the water starts pouring. In this case, the watt hour is the total amount of water, the voltage is how much water comes out or the size of the top of the bottle and the amperage is the time necessary until the water pours out completely. So if you want to get higher voltage, then you will need a larger top of the bottle, which will result in the bottle getting empty quicker. Therefore, if you want to add more water to increase the amps, the voltage will probably stay the same unless you want to upgrade them as well. But you'll definitely get a higher range for your e-bike once you put more water in the bottle. Alright guys, that was it. Thanks for watching. I hope you understood what I explained here. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos and I will see you next time.